Today I'm going over how to block Windows 11 upgrades on your Windows 10 clients using domain group policy objects. So first thing you can do is check to make sure you have a central store. There's two different ways you can check. For the first example, we'll connect to the sysfall share. So connect to your domain, sysfall, open up domain, policies. If there's no policy definition folder here, then you don't have a central store. The other way you can check is through group policy management. Let's go to Tools, Group Policy Management, expand your domain, and edit your default domain policy. From there, you can go to Policies, Administrative Templates, and when you click on it, you'll see it says Retrieved from the Local Computer. It's not the Central Store. So to create the Central Store, you need to connect to a domain controller and copy the Policy Definitions folder. So this is the C Windows Policy Definition folder on my domain controller. So I'll copy that local folder. I'll go back into where I want the central store in the policies directory and I will paste and this will create the central store. To verify that your central store is operational, go back to group policy management, edit your default domain policy, and now when you go to policies, administrative templates, and you click on it, it says retrieve from the central store. To block any future versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can use a group policy. In this example, you can block 21H2, or in my example, I'm going to block Windows 11 because I'm not ready to upgrade there. So what you need to do is you need to edit a group policy that's applied to your Windows computers or create a new one. For this example, I will create a new one. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management, and I will expand and go to where my computers are. It's in this OU right here. I'll create a GPO and link it there. I'm going to call it Block Windows 11. And now I'll edit that policy. We'll go to Policies, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and you'll scroll down to Windows Update and expand that. If you don't have this Windows Update for Business, or if you click there and you don't have the options you need to block Windows 11, then that means you need to upgrade your ADMX files. So if you need to upgrade them, what you need to do is you need to do a Google search for Update ADMX Files. Update ADMX files and you're going to download the latest version once they've downloaded you go ahead and run it and extract the files I'm just going to save them here let it extract the files. And finish. Alright, so I'll go to that location. I stored it here. So I'm going to find the ENUS folder because that's what I'm doing. That's my location. I'm going to copy that folder. And then I'll go back to my central store. I'll go inside the policy definitions. And here's the ENUS folder. And I'll just paste that same folder in there. And it's just going to copy and replace the ones that are duplicates and that are updated. So replace the files in the destination. Now that that's done, now I need to copy the ADMX files. So I'll go back into the temp directory. And I'll copy all the ADMX files. I'll paste them into my policy definitions folder. So I'm going to replace some of these. So paste those into policy definitions folder. So some are new and some are going to be updated and replaced. Now that I've updated my ADMX files, I will reopen group policy and I should see the new options. So if I go to that group policy that I was going to edit, open it back up. So go to Policies, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows Update, Windows Update for Business, and there now I have the new options right there. So I'm going to select that one, select the target feature update version. I'm going to enable it, put in Windows 10, 
Uh, here's where you can you can keep it at 21 H1 if you want to just stay at that version or 21 H2. I'm going to put 21 H2 so that way it does not upgrade to Windows 11. So now I'll apply. So before I let's check the, let me check and show you what I mean. So I'm going to remote desktop to the Windows 10 client that's trying to upgrade. Before it updates the policy. So here on the Windows 10 machine, update security, and you can see here it says upgrade to Windows 11. I don't want my users to be able to click this and automatically upgrade to Windows 11 and cause problems. And so for now, we'll update our policy. So run GP update. I don't want to wait for it to automatically update. I'm just going to do it now for this video. So I'll run GP update slash force. Okay, and then go back in. And when, re when Windows Update reruns, it should take away the option, so it's still here, so I'll go to check for updates. And now the option to upgrade to Windows 11 is gone. So just to verify, I'll go back in now. Check Windows Update again. Click check for updates. Still no option for Windows 11, so great, it's been blocked. And so whenever it's time that you do want to upgrade to Windows 11, all you got to do is just remove the policy. So I'm just going to unlink it from that OU. And now I'll go back into that same Windows 10 machine. Update the policy again. So now I'll run Windows Update again, and the Windows 11 upgrade option should return. Yep, there it goes. So now if this is a later date and time, and I'm now ready to upgrade, I can go ahead and allow my machines to upgrade. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe.